Hey everybody! Now the NES Classic Edition, I still don't have one yet, but I did find this special controller. Um, I'll talk more about that in my next Game Pickups video. However, <clears throat> the ever since the announcement of the NES Classic Edition, people have said, oh, do the same thing with the SNES, do the same thing with the N64. The N64 would be kind of interesting to see because since the controllers are much larger, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but now let's talk about the SNES, or Super Nintendo, as I've always liked to call it. Um, now this is my favorite system of all time. I actually made a whole video about it back in April. Jesus, time flies. <clears throat> now, my first thoughts are, I'm curious to see which console they would use, or which model, I should say. Because see, I own the North American version, and as you can see, the console itself, instead of buttons, it has more, like, switches, so... <laughs> I mean, could you imagine, like, little miniature versions of these? That's just a thought. Um, as for the games, I actually have my list right here. Yeah, tr tr it wasn't easy narrowing this down to 30. I'll uh, we'll go through the first party games first. Super Mario World, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Super Metroid, of course, the three masterpieces right here. Uh, the three Donkey Kong Country games. Uh, I love the first two. I don't think I could pick a favorite. The third one I never actually played, um, but I would play it if it was on there. Um, F-Zero and Mario Kart, so you'd have two racing games there. Super Punch-Out. I haven't played that since I was a kid. Pilot Wings. That's a classic. That game brings back a lot of memories. Uh, Kirby Superstar. Kirby's my favorite Nintendo character. Star Fox, of course, another classic. Um, that game, that particular Star Fox game, it always makes me think of Tron. I still think that that, um, the character from, uh, what's this, that particular version of Andross, I think they got that idea from Master Control, you know, from Tron. What's the matter, Sock? You look nervous. I think it's terrifying. Um, Tetris Attack, finally. Um, that would be your puzzle game, which I actually happen to own the physical copy of that. I've had this since I was a kid. It's a very fun puzzle game. God, my neighbor and I played the shit out of this game. Uh, that's all the first party games. Uh, for third party games, I'm gonna go more by genre rather than um, company. Super Castlevania 4, of course. That would be like that would be your um, like horror action platformer obsession. Yeah, uh, I'm not really a big sports fan. But you gotta have a sports game on there, so I think the best choice would be Mega Man Soccer. Kidding. Uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. That's a very fun game, and it's <clears throat> very popular. Uh, for an RPG, I'd have to say Final Fantasy III, aka 6, because that one is just. Um, something about. That, that one, the story is phenomenal, and the, it has a great cast of characters. Speaking of the characters, I think that's partially what made that such a unique Final Fantasy game, is that there isn't really a main final character. It's like it kind of switches around and stuff. And Kefka, he's just such a great villain. Um, now, fighting games were very popular in the 90s, so I think they should put a few on there. Um, these are just two I happen to think of. Mortal Kombat 2, which when it comes to the old school... Mortal Kombat games with the digitized actors. That one is definitely my favorite for a number of reasons, but that's a story for another day. And the other one is Super Street Fighter 2. That was the one that introduced DJ, Phelong, right, Phelong, right, uh, Cammy, and T Hawk, so it has 16 characters in total. <laughs> 16 ki characters on a 16 bit console. Uh, I got a whole bunch of shooters here. Earthworm Jim, he's one of my favorite, he was one of my favorite characters of the 90s, mascots of the 90s, gaming mascots. Uh, Contra 3, The Alien Wars, which is actually my favorite in the franchise, a lot of great memories from that game. Sunset Riders, very similar to Contra, um, but it's in the Old West, and it's a great game, but it's wicked hard. But, my brother used to own the physical copy, and I'm pretty sure we made it to the last boss um, when we were kids, because um, the last boss is like this guy, oh, rich guy, you fight him outside his mansion, and uh, after you shoot him with a barrage of bullets, he finally goes down. 
Only to get back up again. Yeah, takes out a bulletproof vest and starts laughing, then you gotta fight him again. Uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. That's another classic. An overhead shooter horror game. Metal Warriors. Oh, that game was awesome. It's That's a run-and-gun game. Very similar to, um... In fact, these, this and the other three I just mentioned are all Konami. <laughs> but uh, Metal Warriors, it's very much like Cybernator. It, um, you have these different robot mechs you drive around. You can actually switch from one to another. You can like, play a little stick figure guy comes out and you can run and grab another vehicle. You can do Deathmatch, too. Uh, that, that game was a lot of fun. And, um, Pocky and Rocky 2. The reason I say the second one, I'll get to in a sec. Um, but the Pocky and Rocky games were overhead shooters, which um, uh, were made by Natsume. And Pocky is um, it's for one or two players, these games. Pocky is this girl who... She kind of reminds me of Kikyo from Inuyasha. Rocky was a raccoon. And uh, the second one actually had more characters, like there was a ninja girl, a robot, a scarecrow, a bird guy, that's just a handful of them, but, um, that's, that's why I think, like, oh, the second one I think would be a, that's just my personal choice, um, and I know, you know, like I said, these were made by Natsume, and I'm pretty sure Nintendo and Natsume have a good affiliation with each other, because there's a lot of Natsume's games on the Wii U Virtual Console, and of course, uh, this one I kind of saved for the last of the shooters. Mega Man X, one of my favorite games of all time. It never gets old, and it's just one of those games, every time I play it, just like the memories start flying through my mind. Um, if, if there's one game that's like, it's got to be on there, no questions asked, it's Mega Man X. Uh, now the beat-em-ups, because I love beat-em-ups, especially from the 16-bit era. Uh, these are, I think, two popular ones. That would be, like, good popular choices would be, uh, Final Fight 2 and Brawl Brothers. Um, the other ones is King of Dragons, which was a Capcom game. It was an arcade game that was ported to the Super Nintendo. I think it was also on the Genesis, but I'm not sure. But that was an awesome game. It was, um, it's almost like Golden Axe in a way, but it was, um, you play as, it's a medieval, st uh, takes place in the Dark Ages. You could be... A warrior, it's either a warrior or a fighter, I'm pretty sure it's a warrior. A dwarf, an elf, a wizard, and a cleric. And you can actually switch between them through the levels, and you fight all kinds of mythological creatures and stuff. And, oh, I loved that game. I still play it. It's on that um, that collection I have, that Capcom Classics collection. Um, but the physical copy of that is, I think, goes for like $300. The, the King of Dragons, not the collection, but yeah, that, you know, so literally a used game from over 20 years ago, goes for the price of a brand new 8th gen console. Uh, then, another one I'd like to see is Ninja Warriors, which is, I'm pretty sure that's another Natsume title. Uh, it was an arcade beat-em-up. I mean, an arcade-style beat-em-up, obviously, but um, we could play as three of these robots, and one of them was had, like, blades on his arms. It's a really good game, and I remember the music was awesome. Uh, the only real flaw with that game is it's only for one player. Other than that, it's a great game. <laughs> and uh, this one's kind of a stretch. TMNT 4, Turtles in Time. Which, personally, I think that's one of the best Ninja Turtles games ever made. Or, I, I think it is the best ever made. That's just my opinion. I'm sure, you know, everyone has, I'm sure, has their favorites. But, um, I know it's hard for Ninja Turtles because that's such... I guess it's controlled by, like, different people and stuff as well. And I'm sure it's not easy to get licensed games on here. And But that's the thing. See, with the NES Classic Edition, I know people have found a way to hack it to actually put more games on there, which is kind of cool. You know, so when I get one, I'm definitely going to do... Um, well, when I get my hands on an NES Classic Edition, I'm going to play it as it is first, like, play through a bunch of the games, and then I'm going to hack some other games on there. And the funny thing is, when I first heard about this, the people were hacking it. One of the first games that came to my mind, and the funny thing is, I've seen other people, um, this is what, when I, because I've watched, like, walkthroughs on it, and a lot of people, this is the same game they've hacked, was the one that I first thought of, was Bucky O'Hare. Uh, this isn't the game, this is the show on DVD. But that game is, it was a great game, but it's really overpriced. Um, and I remember there was also an arcade beat-em-up, which was really cool. And there was toys of this and everything. There was a comic. I can't remember which came first, the show or the comic, but... I remember, uh... 
What's his face? Dead Eye Duck. He was always my favorite character. Um, you know, so like I'm sure if they could hack the NES one, I'm sure they could do the Super Nintendo one because it's easy to, you know, because I've seen, like I said, I've watched walkthroughs and it's so easy. Just literally just hook it up to your computer, basically. Now, the concerns I have is just one thing. It's like if they do decide to make this an NES Classic, SNES Classic Edition or Super Nintendo Classic Edition, whatever, Super Nintendo Mini, Nintendo. Please do not undership this thing like you did with the NES one because I mean I'm I'm have a lot of patience. I don't mind waiting, but I know a lot of I've seen people say like I don't even want one anymore. It's just like you know it's I mean I'm sure they're still hype, but not like you know it's almost like the Amiibos. Those Amiibos are still selling, but it's not like I don't think they're selling as much as they were before because like, I still see them like whole bunch of them in stores and stuff but I, mean, I feel like that market in general the whole toys to life thing i think that's at some point gonna die out anyway but just like there's the video that they made about the nes classic edition which i think you know there was like a trailer for it back in on their youtube channel came out back in like may or something that video has over two million views even before that video there was hype for this thing and so many people, like, my brother who's in his mid-30s, he has, like, jocks that he went to high school with. You know, jocks. You know, football players. Like, they're talking about buying one. And, you know, it's... You know, so that video alone, and the just the, the hype for this thing, and I don't know why they undershipped it. I mean, yeah, it's a marketing strategy, but is it... You know, it's like, when people... Like I said, you know, their patience kind of wears out thin, and then they get pissed, and it's like, oh, screw it, I don't want it anymore, and then, hypothetically, I feel like maybe, I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like these are going to start bombarding into the stores, and, you know, but it's like, people are just like, nah, I don't want anyone anymore, so, Nintendo, please don't do that again. But, whatever, like I said, I'm patient, I don't mind waiting, and I'm sure other people are the same way. Just gotta keep your hopes up. Um, but yeah, that's just my thoughts. Uh, so what games, if they made an SNES Classic Edition, <clears throat> which I've heard rumors that there, ha there are going to do one, but like I said, that's just a rumor. Um, what games would you like to see on there? Or if you could hack it, what games would you put on there if you could hack it or whatever? Uh, you know, what games... You know, let me know in the comment section below if what games you would want to see on there. You. You would want... You watching this, what games would you want to see on there? And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, you can always check out some of my other videos if you'd like. And you can always hit that big old red subscribe button down there. And I think I'm going to go play some Super Nintendo. So enjoy your day, everybody.